Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton targeting several battleground states today. The Democratic nominee focusing on Florida earlier before going to Pennsylvania, where she was once soaring high in the polls. But Donald Trump has been cutting into Clinton's lead in the Keystone State, which has gone blue for the last six presidential elections. Jennifer Griffin is live in Philadelphia with the very latest. Hi, Jen. Hi, Shannon. Well, Hillary Clinton just exited her plane behind us. Uh, we landed here in Philadelphia. We'll be heading with her to the Katy Perry, Steve, uh, Stevie Wonder, Get Out the Vote concert tonight. It's part of their effort. At this point, it is a question of uh, which is stronger, the machine versus momentum. The Democrats have the machine on their side. They have the ground game in these battleground states. Um, they believe that that will make the difference. They think the record Latino turnout numbers in Florida favor them. About 70% of voters in Florida will have voted before Tuesday. Rain cut short one Clinton event. Democrats have tailored their schedules to early voting deadlines. That's why the big push in Florida today for the Clinton campaign as well. Tim Kaine had three events events there in Florida. Uh, they have set up their rallies across the street from polling stations. Hillary Clinton was joined there on stage by Trayvon Martin's mom. You are a hardy bunch standing out here in the rain. I don't think I need to tell you all of the wrong things about Donald Trump. But here's what I want you to remember. I want to be the president for everybody. Everybody who agrees with me, people who don't agree with me, people who vote for me, people who don't vote for me. Early voting in some Florida counties ends tonight. Nevada's early voting ended Friday. No in-person early ballot voting in Pennsylvania. 44% um, of eligible voters as of this morning had voted in North Carolina. Anybody sitting on the sidelines right now or uh, deciding uh, to engage in a protest vote, that's a vote for Trump. And uh, that would be badly damaging for this country and it would be dam uh, damaging for the world. So, uh, yeah, no, no complacency this so time. Um, we're now on the bus and we're moving uh, into Philadelphia where we'll be at that Get Out the Vote concert later. On board the plane, I asked Robbie Mook, her campaign manager, whether they thought the FBI director's uh, letter a week ago had caused uh, them to drop in the polls. He said that um, it had certainly taken her off message. They had hoped to end the campaign on a high note, but she's had to really fight it out with uh, shrinking polls over the last uh, week or so. So they feel like they're back on message and we will uh, we'll see. See what happens tonight and on Tuesday. Back to you, Shannon. And we love to see you with the help of technology in action on the move on the road. <laughs> Very cool. Jennifer, thank you.